Right, joining us at the press event ahead of the London Eurovision party this afternoon is now Molly, representing the... Uh, yes. Um, you've now had a few weeks to get sort of familiar with the Eurovision bubble and the Eurovision world. What is as you expected and what's surprising you? God, just the scale of it. It's just so much bigger than I thought and um, very sort of high energy, very positive. It's just really fun. Like really, I knew it would be fun though, but it's more fun than I expected. Now for, um, for quite a few years, we've had a pattern in the UK where even um, successful songs that have come from Eurovision, whether UK entries or other um, international ones like Euphoria, have found it hard to get on playlists and UK radio stations and to get support from the media outside of Eurovision. How have you found the reception to your song and your participation in kind of like the wider media? Pretty good actually. I mean, I've not got much to compare it to being someone that's sort of a no one. You know, it's like I, I don't really know what to compare it to, but I felt like it's been really positive. I think people are quite curious because I am a no one. And I think that, um, you know, the fact that I've come through BBC introducing and I'm just a not like, I'm just a, a you know, a genuine singer songwriter, um, I think that's made the media a bit curious. And sort of curiosity that this new system to produce the Eurovision entry, so to speak. I, so. I think so, but um, yeah, it, it seems pretty positive. Now your song's going to hit the UK charts the weekend before the contest. If I said to you, you could either have a Eurovision win and the song will not get near the top 40, or you can have a number one single but get null point in the contest, which would you pick? Oh, that is a tough question. That is mean. Oh. I don't know. I really don't know. That is really tough. It would be. A, I'd love to get support from the UK because I think that be, for Eurovision that would be such a good thing because we obviously have a kind of like reservation about it and we feel a bit kind of you know trepidatious. I learned that word recently, so I'm going to use it. Trepidatious about it. And um, uh, so that would be cool. But then obviously it'd be a bit gutting if I got nil point. I'd be like if the whole of Europe was like. This is awful. That's going to suck. Um, so I don't. It won't happen. You're safe. I can't answer. I can't answer. I, whatever I answer is wrong. <laughs> so, so both basically is it? <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the plan. That's plan A. Yeah. Yeah. Plan A. Um, when it comes to the presentation of the song in Copenhagen, are we going to see a similar setup like we saw with the presentation show on the BBC, with like the band and the backing singers, or are we in for a surprise? It's going to be similar. It's similar, not the same. But obviously, we have the limitations of um, no pre recorded vocals and only six people on stage. My song is very backing vocal led it's a so have you got the same backing vocal guys with you yes pretty much pretty much in this one change um but yeah it's uh so we're having to work with, the music comes first so we need to present that the best way possible and then think about visually how to present it so that we could do a good show so that's sort of what we've done um one last question it's a sunny sunday afternoon in in the real world you you yeah, apart, apart from some of the beautiful scenery behind us, you, you wouldn't know. Um, on a normal Sunday afternoon, if, if Molly's sort of out in the real world, what would you be doing on the sunny Sunday afternoon? Ooh, I'd probably be at some market in London somewhere, just smooching or doing something nice. Maybe Borough or you know, down in Shoreditch, something like that. Right, finally, do you have a quick message for our viewers and readers on ESC Extra? Um, I would like to say thank you for listening to my song. Uh, I hope you are liking it. Uh, if you're not, sorry. Uh, if you are, then great. And I hope that I don't disappoint you in Copenhagen. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy your performance tonight. Thank you. Thank you.